Hi, my beautiful Pisces. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. Hit that like button, you guys. Share, subscribe, and comment. I read all of you guys' comment, and I appreciate the people who rocks with me. I appreciate the people who are donating to my channel. Um, you guys, I have just really been feeling really, really calm and really chill, especially after that last meeting. Like, I have just really felt, um, you know, it's just this, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's I don't know. It could be the the out. It could be outside the environment. Um, it could be something changing, something shifting in some way. Um, but nevertheless, um, I have your cards laid out here, and I'm going to get into this reading for you guys. So you guys, I am feeling a little like, you know, energy is a little low. So just bear with me. I'm going to get into this reading, and I'm going to try to make this is. Uh, <laughs> As real as possible for you guys, but please understand that I am a little, phew, okay, especially with my personal reading. So you guys look, um, whoever there, whoever this person is in your life, I feel like this person is like it. They could have been having some type of reunion here with you in some way. I feel like this could be a friend, a family, a lover, um, a relationship, a friend. Something like that. This person was having some type of reunion here with you. I feel like there was like, you know, friendship or an offer of like love, emotions, affections. There's some type of expression here of love. Like someone was like maybe expressing to you their emotions or feelings, maybe apologizing, maybe coming towards you in that way. I feel like with the page of pentacles here, though, I feel like there's some type of procrastination here on this person's part. Okay. Um, I feel like with the tar, the the star here, I'm sorry, I feel like this person may be detaching from something here. It could be like a promise or something here uh, of a plan or something here. I feel like there's a negative message regarding this person planting some type of seed here with you. And I do feel like in the past energy, I feel like this person was somebody here in your life. You may have had some type of reunion here with this person or you may, this may be someone who you uh, know, you have known before, you've been around um, a friend. Like I said, there looks like some type of reunion here with you and this person. It looks like some type of friendship or you have a friendship with this person. You have some type of connection with this person in some way. Maybe it's like, you know, buddies, partners, lovers, friends. Um, but whatever it is, maybe it's a family, but I feel like whoever this person was, I'm seeing this person as somebody who was someone who procrastinated in the past a lot. I feel like this is somebody here who was never really making a decision here. Um, and I got, I'm, I'm getting this energy that this person was maybe someone who was very difficult to work with. They never really put in a lot of energy, right? Um, this person never really kind of tried to put in a lot of energy to work towards something here, right? Um, so I do feel like that. I get this energy that this person may have like, they're procrastinating on making some type of decision here. I feel like this person may be like procrastinating in regards to a separation, a relationship, or manifesting something here in regards to that manner. I do say with the star here though, this person is like coming off as like they're being very hopeful and optimistic, um, but the tower is here too. So this tower is like, there's a tower moment here. I feel like someone is giving off a false impression that they're being optimistic here about a relate. <sighs> Somebody's giving some type of false uh false image is what i'm hearing thank you spirit there's a false image that someone's giving off to you that they're being optimistic about a relationship here with you because this is like somebody who never really put in some type of effort or work here in the past this is also somebody somebody here when we're talking about their financial situations i feel like in the past their financial situations were affected and there could have been something some type of issue with their career their money their finances in regards to like higher ups people being involved um there was issues here with their career and their finances that's all i know i feel like they may have lost their job they may have lost like good standing here in some way or some type of prospect here when it comes to their finances okay i do feel like whoever this person is they are showing up in your life but it's like some type of false promises or some type of false image in some way i'm seeing false image here but it's like giving off this optimistic and very hopeful attitude here but in reality that's a tower coming right behind it because the death card is here this person is avoiding ending this person hasn't really transform they haven't really had any type of transformation here um, or they haven't fully transformed in regards to this devil energy i feel like this person is somebody who is still very much attached to um negativity codependencies um things that they want um, materialistic stuff materialistic values drugs sex alcohol addiction etc um, this person does have some type of infatuation here in regards to something here with you. But it's like some of you guys are not sure what it could be. Uh, some of you guys may feel like, okay, no, they're just wanting to be my friend. They just wanted to be in my life. But someone here is very like 
Um, they have this very strong desire here for something, okay? Um, but what is it? That's the question. What the fuck is it, right? <laughs> so with the, the lovers here, I do not feel like somebody here is making a decision to be in a relationship here with you. Um, I do feel like, you know, in the present moment, they're not putting in some type of effort or work here. I feel like they may be, again, they're giving off this image or they're giving off this uh, false impression or hope here that this is what they're hopeful for, but they're detached from putting in effort and work, you know, they're not working towards a relationship. You guys need to know this shit. Like that's not their goal. Their ultimate goal here is not to have a relationship or a commitment. Be mindful of that. Whoever this person is, they're very much not choosing to come towards you with grace or come towards you with gratitude. It's a, it's like with the lovers here being in reverse and the devil, there's like a, there's a motive. There's an ulterior motive. There's still someone attached to something here. Okay, I feel like with the Four of Cups, this is the heart of how they feel. This is them turning down an offer of love with you, turning down some type of offer of love. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like you're offering the love. There's a new beginning of love here, or there's some type of renewal, or there's something new here with this person. You may feel like there's something new or different about this person, but it's like they're still refusing to see something here. Like, they're <laughs> who is this person? Because... It's like they're playing off of your energy in some way. Uh, they're playing. It's like they're playing with your energy, or they're playing with your um, your time, your emotions, or your feelings. Yeah, because in the present moment, this person is not making a decision to be in a relationship, a commitment, or marriage, or whatever it is, or something serious. The Nine of Pentacles is this person staying single. Yeah, they're rejecting the offer of love. They're choosing to stay single. And they're, they're still like, this is somebody who still have like a, an emotional, they have some type of emotional baggage here. Like they're they're single. They're walking away from something emotionally. They may be coming off like that, but they're still like, there's still something that they, they still have a, um like with this person's face here in this moon, they still, what's the word? Uh, they still have some type of issue with you, like in their emotions and feelings. Like, this is somebody here, like, who's acting like, you know, they're fine, but they're really not. You know, they're not fine. Something is not okay. We're not okay. I feel like they're avoiding an ending to walking away from this emotional dissatisfaction here with you. So it's almost like that Nine of Wands energy where someone comes into a situation with a chip on their shoulder. But with this person, they're holding on to emotional baggage and shit. So they're not even ending that. They're not transferring from that. So this is someone who still feels some type of way. But they're also trying to, like... Uh, come into your life out of nowhere as if they're like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be uh, this, I don't know what the hell they're trying to do here. But it's like they're trying to manifest this, an opportunity here that they rejected here with you. But they're trying to manifest it back. But the only reason why they're manifesting it is not because they want a relationship. Um, but it could be in regards to something here that's very distasteful in some way. Be mindful of this person, you guys. This person is very distasteful in some way here, okay? Um, they're procrastinating here in regards to being in this relationship here with you is what it looks like. This person is procrastinating and being in relation in a being in a relationship here with you. Like their follow through, some there, there's no follow through here with this person. They're manifesting not following through with actually being in a relationship here with you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. It's a bad start. It's a lack of commitment. It's a lack of interest, but it's like portraying to be something else other than what they are. Okay. They're, they're, they're not committed to this. You need to understand that the only person that they're committed to is themselves is what I'm hearing. There's no ambition. There's no drive towards, you know, a relationship. I promise you, like their their efforts are not to be in a relationship. Their efforts have something to do with something else, which is really weird. There's no goal in regards to like the goal is the goal and the plan is not to be in a relationship here. If that makes any sense, they're not really taking advantage of this opportunity the way that you want them to or the way you thought it was. Because mm. that page of pentacles, like I said, connected to this three of pentacles and eight of pentacles speaks of financial ruin, money worries, lack of money. You know what I'm saying living on social welfare, accumulating debt, you know, like squandering money, you know, like something like that, like no savings, losing money. Uh, no, like, you know what I'm saying? There could be some type of delay or setback here in regards to money. I'm not sure you guys, it's kind of weird, but I am seeing that I'm seeing, they may feel, um, I don't know. It's like they're, 
they're insecure about something, but they're not showing you. It's like they're trying to show you something differently. Cause like the tower, they're coming off as you they're coming off to you as if like they're single or they're interested or they have some type of financial freedom. But why I get this energy that their financial freedom in regards to their money or whatever this is, because they're trying to get like a it feels like a get rich quick scheme or like a I don't know, they're trying to take some type of risk. It's it's weird. You guys don't mind me scratching my butt <laughs> right on the side. Um I don't know, you guys. This doesn't feel right. If it felt right, there's this person feels like they're feeling like a freeloader or they're trying to get something from you in some way. And I feel like this is the Tower, the Nine of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. This is your energy here. Because like it looks like... There is some, they're trying to get some type of financial freedom here. Like, oh, it's like this person has some type of motive, but it's in regards to their financial freedom. So it's like, for some of you guys, if you're dealing with somebody who's married, then this is what's going on in their energy. But if you're married to this person, or if this is your friend or lover or someone who you know, then this is what they're doing towards you. Somebody here is trying to get something. They're trying to get their financial freedom. They're trying to get back on their feet financially. They're trying to get something here. You know, they're avoiding an ending to like, you know, something here in regards to their finances and career. I feel like something's going to be revealed though. There's a lot of illusions here with this person. This person is like... They're not putting in some type of effort or work here in regards to a situation or a relationship. They're not. That's not their goal. They're not working towards that. Um, they're they're more they're more driven here in regards to like keeping something secreted for you. But this is your energy, Pisces. This is you trusting your intuition. Like you know, I feel like you may not want to feel this way with this moon here. You may want to you know, see the good in this person, but I feel like you know better. You're trusting your intuition, Pisces, in some way, because you may be like, some of you guys will know if this resonates with you. You might be in a situation where you have some type of financial situation. You're financially secure in some way. Um, you're, I'm seeing financial freedom here with you, but they like, you, you need to trust your intuition. You are trusting your intuition here. And they're feeling like, it's weird. They're almost feeling like you're not I don't know what the hell they think. <laughs> I don't know who they think you are, Pisces. They're going to end up walking away with their tail behind their legs because the moon here is something being revealed here in regards to, you know, their finances or their career. But this devil here, this person is trying to stay like they're trying to attach themselves to you in some way here. You're trying to manifest some type of attachment here to you into a situation here with you. You guys, you need to be careful with this person because this is somebody here who's like they're there's some they're manifesting some type of illusion here for you. They're manifesting an illusion like for you to see. Um, and the illusion that they want you to see is that they want to work towards something here with you. Um, almost like, you know, this higher level of commitment or they're like, they're giving off this illusion or this false impression here that they want to be in a relationship or that, you know what I'm saying? But maybe all they're doing is like, be careful with having relations with someone because it's like, this is not what you think it is. They're trying to see what they can get out of the situation. They're trying to manifest something here for themselves. Oh shit. They may be trying to get information. Pisces, who is this person? It's like they're trying to get information out of you. I'm not lying. Like, I don't know what the fuck this person is. It's like this person is trying to manifest some type of information out of you. Pisces, be, be very careful. Be mindful here. I would not tell you a lie. I just really feel like 
someone's trying to manifest some type of like information out of you and with this devil here in the high priestess like pisces this person really is trying to you know what i'm saying they're trying to get into your little black book they're trying to get into you know what i'm saying something here um and they're really getting like, I don't, I don't, they're getting a little annoyed or they're maybe feeling like they may be giving you like the side eye because they're trying to like, they're trying to like get something here that they want and they're not getting it. No, like, because you're trusting your intuition, they're not getting something that they want from you. Okay. Who the fuck is this person? They're not getting something that they want. And they're getting really annoyed at this because they're attaching themselves to you for a reason. And it's to get information. This person is trying to get fucking information out of you. I cannot with this person. Oh, my God. Somebody here is seriously trying to get information out of you, Pisces. And it's in regards to, like, fi finances and career. Pisces, please be careful. I would not fucking lie to you about this. Like, I would not fucking lie to you about no shit like this. I don't know who the fuck this person is. Like I said, they could have been somebody you dealt with, you were married to, committed to. Um, or, like, because this this is weird. This feels like somebody who you are married to with this, yeah. Um, someone here is trying. They, they could be doing this around the waning moon or the waxing moon. So be mindful of that. Yeah, their motives are not. Their intentions is like they're portraying to be something that they're not. In order to get something that they need mm -hmm, or want. And they're not getting it. They're trying to manifest this stuff. They're trying to make something. Be careful, Pisces. Be careful. Be be very vigilant um, and on top of somebody's motives here. Because you just don't even, you don't even understand that this person is trying to get information out of you. Give me the message I need to get to Pisces in regards to the situation. What's the answer here? What's the answer that I need to get to Pisces? Compromise. Okay, tell me more. Ooh, unlikely. Whatever this person is proposing, it's very unlikely that it's true. It's like someone here who's trying to compromise here with you. Um, but I feel like whatever it is that they're coming, whatever this is, it's unlikely that it's going to be balanced. It's going to be true. Tell me more. Yeah, choose a new direction. And then they're saying, listen to your intuition. So Pisces, okay. Yeah, peaceful resolutions. Okay, somebody here. Yeah, get more information. I knew it was coming. That's what I was waiting for. Someone's trying to get information out of you. Get more information, peaceful resolution. Like someone, the way they're coming about it is like they're trying to like, I don't know what the hell they're portraying to you, but it's like they're, they're like they're trying to get information out of you, Pisces. Be very mindful because whatever it is that they're trying to compromise here, or I'm sorry, whatever it is that they're trying to um, like rationalize here with you, or you know balance the situation out, it's not what you think it is. They're trying to get information out of you, so it's unlikely that this person is trying to compromise with you in some way. And I do feel like that. I feel like you need to know that. Ooh. What's the message I need to get to Pisces in regards to this person when it comes to the romance angel cards? What is the message I need to get to this, this Pisces, my Pisces here when it comes to this situation? What is the message I need to get to my Pisces here? Wedding. The situation involves marriage for some of you guys. You could be married to this person. Give me one card. I said one card. They gave me 50. Give me one card, spirit. I need to get to, yeah, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, honestly, here. Okay, as getting all of this and looking at this card, be mindful. Someone's trying to come in here and act like if they want to have this relationship or this kiss, this, you know what I'm saying? But then they're like pulling away from you too because they're all about themselves here. I promise you, they're retreating here, okay, at the same time. Give me one more card. Yeah, baby, deception. I would not fucking lie to you, baby. I would never fucking lie to Pisces. Never get it fucking twisted, boo-boo. Give a fuck about a cross watcher. I'm telling you the truth. Check this out. Love yourself first deception. Come on, this is somebody who's putting their fucking needs before yours. I would never lie to you, Pisces. Be mindful. 
Be mindful. Someone's trying to get information out of you. You understand what I'm saying? Trying to dig in your pockets, trying to figure out something. You know, this is not like somebody here who's really trying to cite be in this committed relationship or whatever, or trying to work on this relationship, but they're kind of making it look like they're trying to do this, but really they're trying to like, they're like, ugh, they're putting themselves first, their needs, their self needs, their self, their material. It could be something materialistic with the nine of pentacles and a magician here. They're trying to manifest something for themselves. Okay. Please know this shit. I would not lie to you about this. It's a hot fucking mess.